Okay, now I'm using the blue snowball. I'm using the pop filter in front of it, and I'm using. I'm also using the ten, the negative ten decibel pad. For two reasons, it saves me gain. But this thing has three modes, and we're gonna test that in a second. So this one is the negative ten decibel pad, which means obviously the audio is dropped by negative 10 decibels. Now we're going to test the polar pattern. It says that it's cardioid, but we're going to just go right ahead and test the mic all around the microphone just to make sure that it is in fact a cardioid capsule. Now, now I am using the regular just cardioid mode. Now you see there's no 10 decibel pad and this is just for you know regular podcasting. This would sound really similar to that of the blue snowball ice that I used to use in my old videos. Don't go check those out. That's cringeworthy. Now we're going to test the polar pattern. Okay now we're just moving around the microphone to actually see what the polar pattern is. And if it is truly cardioid, or if it is just some rendition of it. Okay. Now, we should be on the uh, omnidirectional polar pattern. And this one does seem to have some drop in volume. And omnidirectional means that it picks up from both sides of the mic. And we're going to test that right now. Now you shouldn't be able to hear me as much. Now you should be able to hear me pretty much perfectly. Right over here, over here, over here, over here. And if you could hear me all the way over that, that means it's good. Now I'm just going to go right back into the negative 10 decibel pad. Now I'm using the negative 10 decibel pad and we're back. Now let's talk about the build quality. The microphone's capsule itself is totally made out of metal. It has a nice metal grill, it has a nice metal body, the blue logo, and a red light on top to show that you are getting power. The stand is cool. Most of it is, a big majority of it is plastic and rubber. But this little thing right here, this one little thing, this thing right here, has the blue symbol, the blue logo on it, and it's made out of metal, which is I think, which I think is nice. Also, the 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 microphone itself articulates on a little bit of a ball. So it, it works really nice, and I could probably connect this to my. Um, my microphone stand if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy. Alright, now let's switch over to the Audio Technica. And. Okay, so this is the Audio Technica AT2020 connected to my Focusrite Scarlet. This is a cardioid condenser microphone. I'm going to test that right now. You shouldn't be able to hear me over here. Over, over here, down here, or up here. This microphone has an amazing build. It could be used as a weapon. It's all metal. Everything is metal. It's just really well built. It's really well put together. And... those man that was awesome <laughs> jesus hey everybody this is the blue snowball with 10 decibel the negative 10 decibel pad and this is with eq and noise removal Hey everyone, Soul Mamas here, and this is the Blue Snowball 
with the regular cardioid polar pattern with EQ and noise removal. Hey everyone, Zolmimus here, and this is the blue snowball on the omnidirectional polar pattern with noise removal and EQ. Hey everyone, Zolmimus here, and this is the Audio Technica with EQ and noise removal. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised when I actually edited the blue snowball that it almost beat the Audio Technica. However, I did notice something. Once I did all the EQ for him, and the Audio Technica, it beat the snowball. However, some of you will have opinions. However, my voice is... Everyone has a different voice, and when I did the EQ, the audio technique has sounded more natural, it sounded more firm, the presence was there, the highs were were there, and then I needed to boost the bass, but then again, that was easy. And the noise removal on this one was way better than the snowball. However, I think that this is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, guys, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Um, sorry. I'm keeping that in there, by the way. That's just hilarious. Okay, so just a refreshment of what happened. I think that the, the audio technique beat the Blue Snowball when I did all the EQ. However, when this was EQ'd and this wasn't, almost one and then I EQ'd this one and then it blew this away however I think that's one reason why I like blues because when I did the EQ they sounded great um be sure to tell me which one that you think was the best until then guys for real this time peace